I go by the name Annie King and you are welcome to my YouTube channel and on today's episode I will be doing a full review of my book more than a rap this book was published January 2022 for you guys this video is long overdue I've been wanting to make this review video but I have just been procrastinating I mean I keep procrastinating but here it is the review what inspired me to write in a book? I mean, so many people have asked me that question and so one of the things that inspired me to write in a book was the fact that being a Gilly stylist, I mean just going all around to tie Gilly was not just enough for me. I wanted to do something more than just tying Gilly and I felt like, okay, um, I mean not like I felt like, I had to make research. I made some research and I noticed that well there, nobody has actually written about this craft not even um um the great writers like wally shoinka and likes of them so i took it upon me and said okay i was gonna write this book i was gonna write it. writing this book was not easy for me i mean um you know being a being the first time for me writing a book i mean i really don't know much about writing book and this book i started writing this book in my final year uh, I was writing it alongside my final year project. So, um, Oriafe Williams was one of the people that put me through in how to, I mean, on how to start writing a book, the things you need to put into consideration, uh, and the information you really want to give out, the information you want to put out there. And so, I wanted to really write a book. So, I took it upon myself and, you know, I started sorting for, um, for um, information, sorting for um journals books where i can you know books i could actually pick one or two from and use it to you know prepare my book but i was unable to get any what does this book contain here it is so let's open so this is the front page i mean the front cover rather and this is the first page in the book Okay, so um, I'm going to be checking out the content, the content of this book. So I'm going to be reading it out. So in chapter one, we have Gili in Africa, history and importance. In chapter two, we have the aesthetics of Gili in Nigerian events, discussing Ashwabi and Owambe. In chapter three, we have types of Gili and the roles they play. In chapter four, we have the socio-cultural importance of Gili in Africa. In chapter 5, we have African Gili in other parts of the world, a prognosis. In chapter 6, we have the future of Edra culture in Africa and the world at large. And in chapter 7, we have how to be an exceptional Gili stylist. Um, I'm just going to, you know, summarize some of this chapter. I mean, I won't have to summarize all, but I'll just give you hints on what you can get, the information you can get in each chapter. So in chapter 1, Gilly in Africa, history and importance. So this is just taking you through the um, the beginning of Gilly in Africa itself, and particularly the Yoruba culture, the Igbo culture, and the Hausa culture, because these cultures are the popular cultures in Nigeria, popular ethnic groups in Nigeria, whereby Gilly is actually one of their um, key fashion items. I mean, okay, guys. So chapter one. Chapter 1 will take you through the history and importance of Gili in Africa. I mean, how it all started. Um, Gili started off with something um, our great grandparents, which is our great grandmas, um, they take their, you know, their matching outfits and they remove Gili out of it and they make sure that their Gili is, you know, flamboyant and, you know, they believe they, they're not complete without Gili even whenever they are going out. Um, Gilly was something that represents a woman's um, beauty, a woman's strength, a woman's um, a woman's personality. 
um some people love to wear their ghillie small some love to wear their ghillie big and um the difference is 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 in 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 between the persons i mean the person that is wearing the ghillie and so from there ghillie has grown to be something like a statement in the fashion industry and there cannot be any party in nigeria um maybe not only in nigeria without ghillie without having your head wrap on it's something that is very important it's something that shows culture something that shows beauty so um chapter one will take you through ghillie um history and importance so um in chapter one i talked about ghillie in um kenya ghillie in nigeria ghillie in south africa ghillie in ghana ghillie in egypt ghillie in zimbabwe and i also spoke about um the social um the tra traditional significance rather and the religious significance of gili i mean talking about the islam and you know other religion that have to do that have one or two to do with wrapping their head head wraps and also in chapter two chapter two takes you through the aesthetics of gili in nigerian events and um discussing the ashwebi and uambe and this chapter is one chapter you shouldn't miss out on including chapter one so also in chapter chapter three um taking you through the types of gili and their roles the roles they play the different types and the different styles of gili also then in chapter four chapter four is taking you through the social cultural importance of gili in africa and here you have it the social cultural importance of gili in africa and here you can read about um Ashoki, how Ashoki came to be, how Ashoki is made, and lots more. Um, the sociology of Gili, so much more, so much more. Cultural commodification. There's so much more in this book that you shouldn't hesitate but dive into. So, and chapter five. So, chapter five is talking about African Gili in other parts of the world, a prognosis. And so um, this is talking about how Gili was a thing of slavery, I mean, in the Western part. Not only the Western part, I mean, other parts of the world where Gili is relevant. It talks about the history of Durag, I mean, how Durag came to be. Durag, when, when we talk about head wraps or head tie, we're talking about everything that has to do with wrapping something on your head. Wrapping something on your head. And chapter 5 is so rich. It also talks about the history of Gili in India. Um, what gili means to them in India and what they wear gili for and also in chapter 6 chapter 6 talks about the future of edra culture in Africa and the world at large and so this is my own perception this is my own um, concept and it's a, it, it contains my own um, journey how I became a gili artist um, how it all started I mean if you'd love to read about me then chapter 6 is all for you so also chapter six talks about the power of the mind how you can make your mind um a powerful house a power house that it is rather and you know create whatever you want and make it possible so um also in chapter chapter six which is still about me talks about all the gilly i've invented all my styles all the styles i've invented those styles you see on my on my instagram and my youtube okay so then chapter seven chapter seven is um how to be an exceptional gilly stylist slash workshop so you want to be an exceptional gilly stylist i mean you have challenge you have a lot of challenges um tying gilly you don't understand some um some pros and con while you are tying gilly i mean the things you need to know the things you need to correct the things you need to adjust um how to enable your mind to um create styles to to sometimes it's not all about the style it's all about us it's all about how we how we want to you know create that style it's all about how we feel inside because it is from the inside you can actually create one of the benefits of reading this book is it equips your mind with a lot of things you get to know about um the history of this rap called gilly i mean this thing you see everywhere to some people gilly is just the fabric to some people gilly is the style but gilly is more than just the fabric and the style 
and you can get all that details in this book um you're having problem with tying ghillie you're having problem with a particular style of ghillie the style of ghillie is actually not in this book but the secret to getting every style is in this book and this is why you should get this book and also if you are a ghillie artist and you want to you know further know about the culture of ghillie of course we most of us just tie this ghillie we don't really know much about it get this book it will teach you it would inform you not only teach you it would inform you on the things you need to know about the rap and also if you are just someone that loves reading book i mean this book is not just for gilly artists it's for everybody that loves to read you want to get to know more about the traditional ornaments which is called gilly and which is mostly particular to i mean everybody i mean there's no there's no particular continent in the world either europe asia or africa where they don't tie or where they don't have something they put on their head and this book contains lots lots of history lots of history get this book and read up where can you get this book this book is on amazon this book was published january 2022 on amazon and you can only get this book on amazon if you're in the us in the uk canada or in europe at large you can easily get this book um you can just go to um www.amazon.com and type in more than a rap the african gilly it would bring it to you immediately you can get this book in the kindle version or the paperback version let me tell you the fun part of this book the western history is even more interesting because it has it has to do with the slave trade i mean the the slave trade that happened um during the time of our great grandparents whereby they took some people to to um to the u.s i mean to europe i don't know if i don't want i don't want to be specific but they took some people abroad and you know um enslaved them and there was something that happened the white people were getting attracted to black women and um so they had to pass a law and the law which states that all women should cover their head with something with a wrap something to just cover their head and from covering their head from something of slavery it became a thing of fashion a thing of fashion now look at where air drop is today air drop is, is on um um the, the the top fashion industry trendy billboards and so many other places air drop is a statement and it's going to grow more than that very soon. also air drop is not just particular to the blacks it's particular to the whites because the whites now see air drop as something they could also you know um they could also wear you could wear air drop now on english dresses and you still look fantastic and so air drops has now grown from something that was something of slavery and now into a thing of fashion something you see on every big billboard i mean in the u.s everywhere air drop has grown so so well over the years and this is why you should read more about it in this book How much does the book cost? This book is just going for eleven ninety nine dollar for the paperback, which is this. This is the paperback. Eleven ninety nine, and the Kindle version is just nine nine dollars nine nine ninety nine dollars. Yeah, nine ninety nine dollars. So you can get either of the two. If you love soft copies, why not get the um, Kindle version? If you love to have the hard copy, you can get it on Amazon as well. Go get it and thank me later. Thank you.